All right. On today's episode, I welcome on a very special guest. Uh, just a note, he's also not driving. He is Charles Pride. He is the senior guard for Bryant men's basketball team. Charles, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well, man. Thank you so much for uh, being on the show. And uh, I know we just talked off air a little bit, but congratulations on your last final and everything like that. Uh, must have been a stressful week getting studying everything done, huh? Yeah, I mean, it was, man. Hey, but thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. I'm very, very excited to have you on the show. Uh, big fan of Brian basketball and what Brian has done and a big fan of yours and, you know, how well you played the season. Uh, but before we get into the season, I, I had a, a question for you that um, uh, Coach Martelli brought up to me that you, uh, you'd carry a Chucky doll around with you? <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I, would, I would always carry a Chucky doll around with me. Uh, like my freshman year, even last year, I would. And um, I would bring it on all the trips, away trips. I would bring it in the gym on uh, home games, you know. It was just good vibes, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, uh, why is it because your name's Charles? Is that why you got a Chucky doll? Or is, is that what, what it was? Or Well, I mean, that and, like, I just really like the shows and stuff like that. Like, uh, Chucky and um, Chucky Finster from Rugrats like those are my guys right there I <laughs> like <laughs> so you're like redheaded like uh Chucky guys huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah man you know uh, it gives a it gives a little spice to it I love it that's awesome that's so funny now with the Chucky doll did you ever mess with your teammates did you ever just like put it somewhere like uh you know put it in a locker or anything like somewhere where they weren't expected to scare the crap out of them or just kind of mess with them with it at all um, so like my teammates, they weren't really like scared of it. They liked it. Like they wanted to always take pictures with them and stuff like that. Like they wanted to send snaps with the doll and stuff. It was, it was dope though. Even, we even got like the coaches on board, like, uh, coach Martelli and Grasso, like they really, <laughs> they were showing love to the doll. <laughs> I love it, man. That's so funny. Yeah. Uh, he told me about that. I had to bring that up. I was like, that has to be my first question. Cause I had that. I was so curious about that. The Chucky doll and why'd you carry it around with you? That's awesome. Yeah. No, nah, it, it was good vibes. See, you're about to, you're about to make me have to bring it up for next year. Oh, you have to, you definitely have to now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I love it. Uh, all right. So let's get into the basketball season. Um, you know, the got historic, Historic season for Brian, uh, you know, the Brian program, obviously, in uh, Division One, making the first NCAA Division One tournament. But you and the start, you and Peter, you guys were a dynamic duo of scorers. You guys both led the nation and, and uh, like two, one and two players. I mean, what was that like for you guys? Um, That was amazing. You know, uh, Pete and I, we worked our butts off since like the day he got on campus. You know, him, like him and I, we were workout partners and we put a ton of time into the gym. We would stay up in the summer when everyone would go home and continue to work out and just improve and stuff like that. So for us to accomplish the things we did last year, man, that means a lot. That's that's a, that's amazing. Yeah, you guys had a great season. You're up and down offense of what Brian runs and, you know, it tests to yourself that, I mean, you averaged 18 points per game and eight rebounds and along with almost three assists a game. I mean, what, how much work did you put in from the COVID year into this up this past season? Um, a lot of work. I mean, even starting back to my freshman year, like I would just take little things from the season, you know, and watch film and go with my coaches on what to improve on. I feel like, I made a very big jump from my freshman year to my sophomore year as far as, like, uh, my body-wise and getting in the weight room and stuff like that. My freshman year summer, I tore my meniscus, so I had to put a ton of time into the weight room and stuff like that just to have my body ready for me to play when the season came around. And then, um, you know, we just add, we added a few great pieces onto our coaching staff with Coach Duhan and uh, Luke St. Lifer and stuff like that. And all the coaches are great. They help me so much as far as getting in the gym, like pretty much at any time, whenever. And I'm a gym rat, so I don't know, man. It just paid off. That's great. And then, I mean, you had Coach Duhan, who uh, 
you played in the NBA as well, too. I mean, what's it like to learn from a guy like that, you know, being a guard as well? Uh, it's, it, I mean, that honestly means a lot. Like, his look at the game is just so much different than, like, most guys, you know. Like, sometimes our coaches can get, like, into their head or get too riled up about what's going on in the game. And Coach Duhan will just come up to us and tell us, like, a little something that he sees. And that's something, like, changed the whole – impact of the game based off of like the way he sees the floor and stuff like that so he's helped us a lot and he's a great guy you know not even the coaching point like just a great guy in general he's a guy you could just call up right now and have a normal conversation with and you don't even have to bring up a basketball once oh wow that's awesome laughing and just a, a good guy good role model good big brother that's great. That's awesome to have a guy like that on the coaching staff. And obviously it was a great addition to what's already was there for the coaching staff and what you guys had, which I'm sure have led to everything that uh, had happened this year. Uh, this year you also, you guys got, I mean, what was it like to hear your name, Brian's name get called on selection Sunday? Uh, that was like a dream come true. You know, I grew up in, I'm from Syracuse. So just watching like, Syracuse University and their basketball team and their success in the tournament and them going to the tournament. I knew how big of a deal that was. You know, I'm uh, very close with Buddy Bayheim, So, you know, when we were really young, like sixth, seventh, eighth grade, we used to just be so hyped up about like the tournament coming up in Syracuse and what was going to happen. So then for it to be me now, it was like a dream come true kind of thing, you know? Like, yeah. is this really happening? Like, oh, okay. Now we got to go play a game. Oh, my God. That's, yeah, that's so, that's got to be so exciting. And like to hear your name, and like you said, I'm sure it, I think it's something like a kid who, who plays basketball and makes it to college is a, what they dream to hear their team get called on selection Sunday. Um, but what was that experience to just play in the tournament and, you know, play in one of those playing games and have that experience to be there and everything? Oh, that was an experience of a lifetime. Like that's, like, that's something I will, that's something that I will never forget for the rest of my life. And, um, like something that I really, really, really want to get back to, like, I'm going to do everything in my power to get back there and to go on and run in a tournament. Like that's, honestly what I want to do so bad that my time there just with the guys and everything that was just and uh, it's hard to put into words just to see all of our hard work pay off and stuff like that you know to win the champ to win our conference championship and to be the first team from Brian to ever do that that was just amazing you guys are forever cemented in Brian basketball program history and uh you know obviously our bryant legends for you know making the ncaa tournament um and then as well you guys won the nec championship i mean you know obviously crazy game you guys won that game handily what was that feeling like cutting down the nets on your home court and like having the crowd like storm the court at the end of the game how was that that was so dope man i never could have net before <laughs> that was that was pretty true man like just to cut the net and just to have everyone, all of our families around us on the courts and stuff like that while we're celebrating, like I wouldn't have asked for it any other way. That's with great. Guys that I put so much time into the gym with and, you know, just to reach that goal that we've been fighting and working our butts off to get to since for years and years. And then to just make that dream come true, like, this season has meant a lot to me and um, I feel like due to our success this season, like I've created relationships and bonds with guys on the team and in the staff and throughout our program that I'll probably have for the rest of my life for sure. Matt, I mean, you guys had it, I, I, the, the bond of like winning a championship and we're going through a season like you guys did. I'm sure that, like you said, those are, those are your brothers for life right there. Just being with, those guys and everything like that. Now the net that you, the piece of net, what do you have it? Do you have it in a frame? Where, where is it? Oh, right now I have it in my room. I haven't had a chance to bring it uh, 
back home yet, but I have that in my room with like all my other March Madness stuff that I received. But that's definitely gonna like be in a frame and stuff like that. We're switching uniforms too. We're switching brands, so I'm definitely gonna hang like my jersey up, all that stuff up. All that stuff has to go up. <laughs> that's awesome. That's 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 so great. Uh and also this this season too. I mean, you guys had a great run, like and I think Coach Martelli kind of touched upon, uh, upon it in our episode that we did, but he said that you guys kind of flipped your seasons were like the beginning of the season was really rough, and then something clicked when everyone got healthy and guys were out of COVID and everything like that. I mean, you guys won 10 out of 11 games. What was that run like for you guys? And once you started to see, like, things were clicking where you're like, oh, we, we have something here. So, like, we kind of – we kind of, like, we – all right, so we were struggling in the beginning of the year and stuff like that, but we always had, like, faith in each other, and we always knew, like, once we put it together that we had a very special team. But, like, it took us a long time to get to that point because, like, we had a lot of things going on within our team. A bunch of guys were getting sick, different things. Some of our players would get COVID and random games right before we were going to leave and stuff like that. But for us to go through all of that, I feel like that made us stronger as a team and helped us get to the point of winning the regular season and uh, going to March Madness. All of that stuff helped us. And uh, I'm grateful that we went through everything that we went through all the bad times, all the good times. Like I'm grateful for the whole entire season. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it definitely made you guys tough. And uh, you had, and then in that stretch too, those 10, 11 games, you had like three games in a row where it was, uh, I think it was St. Francis PA and uh, Mount uh, Marymount or, or something where you had Mount St. Mary's Mount St. Mary's where you had 44, 34 and 32 I mean, what was it like to just go off in those games? I mean, then you're averaging something around like 35 or 34 points per game right there. What, what was that like? Um, that was just, man, just seeing, that was just me believing in myself and, uh, you know, just trying to do anything for the team to win. You know, uh, we were missing a few key guys. We were missing Pete. We were missing Hall. And my my coaches were telling me to, be more aggressive and stuff like that. So I'm new coming into the game. I was going to have to be more aggressive. And uh, in the off season, I put a lot of, a lot of time into the gym with uh, coach Cole. We have this little saying like skill work, kill work. And it's, I really like the saying because I feel like it's true. Like (laughs) skill work is kill work literally. And I don't know, that was just a good stretch. I stayed in the gym throughout that stretch too. And, I don't know, shots just started to fall for me. I just continued to take them, and they just continued to fall. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, that's a crazy, crazy amount of work and, uh, you know, great, great stretch of games to go off like that, 44, 34, and 32 for yourself and, you know, helping your team, you know, continue that win streak and then obviously leading to the NEC championship for you guys and everything. Um, Being a senior leader now coming into – you know, next year you got some new teammates. I mean, what's what are you looking forward to working with the new teammates and welcome them to the team? Um, so I'm looking. I'm actually really looking forward to that. I'm actually very anxious about that. Uh, I will be with the entire team in two weeks. That's when everyone comes up for summer classes, and uh, you know, it's just going to be about getting the guys together and uh just like our team chemistry and stuff like that. I know we have a bunch of great players individually and stuff like that. We just have to mesh together as a team, but um, I I know that we'll be able to do that. We'll spend a lot of time in the summer together on the court and off the court. I feel like off the court, um, that will, that helps you on the court. When you have a good bond with the guys that you're, supposed to be going to the war for and putting it all on the line for you have a good relationship with them off the court I feel like that will help you on the court also so just to mesh with the guys and you know have some great vibes and some great times and to put in a lot of hard work over the summer that will be key for us 
Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. I mean, some great transfers coming in and, you know, obviously a freshman coming in as well, too, for you guys. Are you going to introduce them to the Chucky doll? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to have to bring him out in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> bring him to some summer workouts. Definitely. That'd be great. Yes, that, that'd be awesome. That That's awesome. Have you contacted any of the guys that are coming on, on to the new squad or have you talked to them at all or just? Uh, yes, yeah, so I've pretty much talked to everyone when they uh, came out of visit and stuff like that or or been in contact texting them and stuff like that after their visit. So uh, I have a good I have a good idea about all the guys and kind of have a, a good starting relationship with all the guys. But I'm sure it's going to continue over the summer when we're literally together every single day. Yeah, it's going to be great. I mean, it's a, you're bringing in more seniors and, you know, uh, like to add to that veteran leadership that you guys already have. And, you know, it's going to be exciting. I, I love what's going on in Smithfield. And you have to be excited if you're, uh, you know, in, in Rhode Island or, you know, just a basketball fan. Yeah, definitely. I feel like it's it's exciting. I feel like we're one of the most exciting uh, teams in the country just by our play style, you know. So I know uh, my teammates love our play style and they have a lot of fun doing it. I feel like that's what really helps our team also. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it, you guys. What is going on in Smithfield? It, it's crazy. And I, I want to ask, you know, from your freshman year to, you know, obviously minus the COVID year, and this year, what was like the what has the gym? How much has the atmosphere changed around you guys, like the basketball team, and to like have a crowd there and everything? Well, the atmosphere has changed so much. Um, I would say just from like being on the team during the season and stuff like that. That atmosphere has also has also changed a ton. Where there's a ton of guys in the gym, you don't know who you're gonna see in the gym. There's gonna be guys in the gym from 8 a.m. to 3 a.m. Wow. Random times, randomly, just guys coming in to work out, play one-on-ones, just to, you know. So that atmosphere has changed, but I feel really good about that. Like, I feel like that's like a culture a culture changer, like a culture thing. When I first got here, many of the guys weren't really in the gym as much. Now guys are always in the gym we could all be hanging out or something like that and like it could be like a argument over a 2k game and they're like all right come on let's go to the let's go to the gym and play one-on-one now so like, <laughs> that's funny. Great. that's awesome that's that's great and then also too like the atmosphere with the the fans and the crowd like what's it like to like walking through campus and people noticing you guys and like coming to all your games and like i mean just seeing that championship game i i knew some coaches that were there that are like my age, you know, and that would just, that were storming the court or older than me that were storming the court. So what was it too like to see that the, the fans at the games and the atmosphere there as well? That meant everything, you know, just to have Brian community isn't really that big. So just to have pretty much our whole community community with us and uh, have our back in, man, that's awesome. You know, like when I first got there my freshman year, the, the gym wasn't really getting that packed for the games, but, now it's like packed like people are coming for the tickets hours before and you know I feel like the crowd and our fans they really help us and back us up in a lot of the games like I don't know man you gotta come see for yourself it's kind of out of control <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited yeah I'll be there this year for sure I'm going to uh, I'll probably be at quite a few games this year and that things are kind of settled down with COVID so very excited to get out there. I'm yes, sure. it's going to be sick, man. I'm <laughs> super excited. I was just watching all the videos actually today before my final. I was just watching like all like the old videos on YouTube of our games in the crowd and just all of that, man. That was magical. I love it. I love it. I know it's uh, and I mentioned this to uh coach Martelli. It's it's great to see what's going on. Something great is going on in Smithfield and you love to see it, uh, you know, big time. Yes, for sure. It's just great vibes. Super great vibes, man. That's so awesome. And then you're moving to a new conference too next year. What, what, what do you got? What are you looking forward to, you know, going playing in the American East conference, but what's that like? Um, That's going to be really fun. You know, I'm, this is like a little selfish, but I'm super excited because, uh, a few of those teams are actually closer 
to my area back home so my family will be able to get to a few more of the games. You know, we have uh, Binghamton and uh, Albany. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited about that. But I'm super excited about the league, and um, I know it's a better league than the American – I mean, than the NEC, but I know our team can uh, – prove that we belong and show that we're a top team in that league also I believe in the guys and I know they'll put in a lot of work and that's pretty much it make some noise that's it when you get there yeah. <laughs> that's awesome it's exciting too it's great that's close to home for you so uh, more family members can uh you know attend more of your games and everything like that um that that's very that's very exciting um, and then uh, a couple more questions and we'll wrap it up. Um, what's the plans for the off season? Uh, what, what do you got planned? Are you work? how much work are you putting in? What are you working out with anyone? Or are you just doing it yourself? Are you working out with the team? Um, so I'm going to go home for two weeks. Now that my finals just ended today, I'm going to go home and I'm going to start working out with like my high school coach. He's uh, Ryan Blackwell. He played on Syracuse a long time ago. He's the coach for the TBT team now. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to go home and work out with uh, Coach Blackwell and a few other of my friends that are uh, basketball players that are just coming home. Also, like one of my good friends plays at Cincinnati. He's going to be home for about the same time period that I am, which is like two weeks before we go back up for summer classes and stuff like that. But then when I get up for summer classes, I think we're going to be at school for eight weeks. That's how long it is. Oh, wow. And then, um, yeah, after that, I'm just going to put in the work. The summer is like the time that you really put in the work. It's the the off season. I feel like that's when you can really be a pro and just live, eat, sleep basketball. Like I don't have any classes to worry about. I don't have to study for anything. I don't. I could just wake up in the morning and get two, three workouts in a day, every single day, and just consistently try to get better. That's that's great, and that's that's awesome. And yeah, that the summer would be a great time to get better. Like you said, it's like working out like a pro. You have that. It's just eat, sleep, basketball all day, and that's awesome that you get to work out with your uh, high school coach, Coach Blackwell. Uh, congratulations to him on winning the TBT. I believe it was last year they won it, right? Yeah, they won it last year. That's awesome. That, that's great for him. Um, all right. So I just got some like fun questions to ask you just a, a little, uh, just outside of basketball and uh, the listeners get to know you outside of basketball. Um, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is chicken parm. Where at? Is there a place in Rhode Island that you like or anything or? Um, I honestly like my girlfriend's mom's chicken parm the best <laughs> right now awesome that's great good answer that's yeah. a good yeah that's that's good uh can't beat the home cooking yeah i'll tell you man you know we're at school a lot so we don't really get home cooking that much but when we can it's essential yeah that's awesome that's great uh and what's your uh i think i know the answer to this one coach martelli told me this one my favorite candy sour patch <laughs> For sure, uh, I always have sour patch. I mean, I don't right now in the car. I'm probably gonna have to get some. <laughs> Is there a favorite sour patch that you like? Um, so I did really like the yellow, but honestly, now I've been uh, honestly eating like the sour patch watermelon. Oh, nice. Good yeah, one. it's actually very, very good. And they they just came out with it about like a month or two ago the sour patch strawberries oh never tried those those good you have to i think right now they're they're leading by a lot oh, they're really? probably right yes <laughs> all right i'll have to try those i'll make it i'll make a note of it i might go out maybe i'll go out and get some after this interview yeah for sure you go <laughs> to the game i'll have some for you definitely all right. All right, hey, I'll, I'll I'll take your word for it. I'll get I'll buy you some too. I'll bring some to the game. I'll buy some sour patch kids for you and bring them to the game as well. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> sounds like a good trade off. Um, and then what is? Do you have a favorite NBA team or player? 
Um, so my favorite NBA team, I don't really have a favorite NBA team. I just kind of like players. Okay. But um, I don't know. I was like, I'm a huge Kobe fan. So I guess I could kind of say like, I like the the Lakers. And I was a huge Allen Iverson fan. So I would say I like the 76ers. But I'm, I'm more follow like individual players and stuff like that. And it's kind of hard to just like one team when they're always switching and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it is stuff. That's why I, I stopped buying jerseys a while ago because like people just would go to different teams yeah. all the time and I'm like, I'm just wasting my money. <laughs> yeah, um, you don't have to buy a new jersey every single year. <laughs> yeah, if they got him not a James Harden fan, I'd be <laughs> I'd be broke on yeah. jerseys. <laughs> or Westbrook. Um and then and then last last question, uh favorite thing to do outside of basketball and sports? Um play video games. I play video games a lot. Um big on Fortnite, FIFA, 2K, like all of that, man. I'm oh, on nice. I'm on the PlayStation 5. <laughs> oh, like nice. If I'm not playing basketball, that's what I'm doing. Playing nice. FIFA or Fortnite. Or... Those are fun games. FIFA is one of my one of my favorite games to play. I love playing FIFA. I haven't played in a while, but that was so much fun to play. Yeah, for sure. No, it's and now like the graphics are amazing. So it's super fun. I play. I probably play FIFA the most right now. Probably play FIFA for like two hours a day. <laughs> it's such a fun game. Is there a team that you like to use, or you just switch it up all the time? So my favorite team is liverpool because that's what uh my high school was liverpool high school yeah but uh i've been playing with psg a lot now oh nice nice they got uh, yeah was it messi and um uh, yeah yeah they're stacked and then liverpool is a really good team this year too for soccer they're leading to premier are they in the lead in the premier league i think too uh, i think so yeah. they have um yeah, they have some very good, good players on their team too. They have Salah and uh, Mane. Yeah, they're yeah. They're, they're good. Yeah, I mean, if you ever get a chance, if it ever comes back to Fenway, you gotta go check out Liverpool at Fenway Park. That's that's like a really cool scene. They like turn the whole baseball field into like a soccer field. It's cool, and they bring in Liverpool. So it's, it's a oh, lot of fun. I didn't there. know they. I didn't know they did that. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've done it, but it's it's a lot of fun. If you if you like to watch soccer or just attend a game or something like that, they do some cool like events. Like once in a while, they do they bring them like Liverpool and like for an exhibition game against uh, another team from Europe or something every once in a while. Oh yeah, that's dope. I think the next thing I have to do though is I have to see a hockey game. I've been watching these hockey playoffs, man. This is interesting. It's intense, huh? <laughs> yes. I like it, though. Yeah. They all play with the edge. It's super dope, man. Oh, I know. i never been to a hockey game, a professional hockey game live. I've been to the, the Providence Bruins, but I've never been to, like, an actual, like, Boston Bruins or Rangers game or something like that. I got to go. Yeah, I definitely have to, too. Uh, we played against Merrimack last year, and they had a hockey game, like, during our basketball game and when we finished we went over there it was so live man <laughs> it was it was elite <laughs> that's awesome yeah they're fun i went to a couple of college hockey like quinnipiac i went to a couple of their games and when i was in, um visiting their school or nbu same thing when i went to go visit bu and they're they're crazy like the crowds get so into it especially when you have like a fun like fan base there it's it's wild yeah, yeah. no they're super dope that's awesome. Well, well, Charles, this has been a lot of fun and, and great talking to you, man. Uh, you know, good luck with everything in the off season. I'm, I'm sure we'll definitely talk soon for sure. Um, keep up the great work and very excited for Brian's upcoming uh, basketball season next year. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. And I look forward to uh, catching you at some of the games next year. No, we'll de I'll definitely be there, man. I'm excited to be, be there. I love what's going on in Smithfield and, uh, Love your style of play and, uh, you know, what, what the team's got coming in this year. It's going to be great. Thanks, man. No problem.